I think what space does provide, the thing that makes space really important, the reason why you're here is not because you're interested in some other way of getting kilowatts. The reason why you're here is that you want a free future for humanity. And that's what space is actually all about. Otherwise, none of us in this room would be interested in the subject. The, 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 and so therefore, that's what it is. And, and, and ultimately, look at me, look, what are the stakes? What are the stakes? There's two visions for the human future right now that, and, and, and for a number of years that have been in currency. The closed future, the open future. The Soylent Green future or the Star Trek future. Okay, these are the two visions that are out there, what the human future might be. The closed future, the future where human beings are confined to one world, a world of limited resources, where human prospects become ever more severely constrained in order to somehow try to manage its activity within a, 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 a closing ring of possibilities uh, and the need for governmental uh, activities in order to manage people so that they don't... Uh, overrun things and, and, and constrain human aspirations and, and possibilities. Uh, and within this vision, by the way, I, I should say, within the context, if you accept this vision of a, of a closed future, then fundamentally every other person on the earth is your enemy because you're all competing for the shrinking limited pie. Okay? And every nation is the enemy of every other nation. Uh, and, and, and every new baby born into the world is a threat, is a minus, okay? And it is to your detriment that the sons and daughters of Chinese peasants are getting college educations and becoming scientists and engineers because they're going to buy cars and stuff and use up the scarce amount of oil in the world and all of this, okay? So it's a world of hate as well as a world of tyranny. It's a world of war, okay? On the other hand, if you take the other vision of the human future, Okay, that there is an infinite few, uh, set of resources that are available to us defined only by our creativity. Okay, then it is your benefit that the sons and daughters of Chinese peasants become scientists and engineers so they can add their inventive genius uh, to the advance of, 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 of humanity. You know, right now, half of all patents in the world are granted to Americans. Now, that's something that as American citizens we can be proud of, but really it'd be good if the other 95% of the human race was contributing equally to technological progress. What a world that could be, okay? But what does that mean? That means rising living standards across the world. That means people in Africa having a, a similar standard of living to people here for them to have those kinds of educational opportunities that they can produce that many uh, scientists and, and, and what have you. But that can only be in a world of unlimited resources. Only in a world of unlimited resources can all men be brothers. Okay? So this is what the ultimate stakes are. And this, by the way, is why this issue of terraforming Mars and the rest of it is so important, even though it's going to happen in the future. Because how we view the future influences how we act today. If we view the future as a world of limited resources, people act in a certain way today, okay? In a horrible way today, I should add, okay? The, uh, the Nazi atrocities were based on a vision of the world as one of limited resources, and so the other races need to be displaced so that Germany can have Lebensraum and all of this, okay? The, and other horrible actions that one could list are all based on this Malthusian concept this is the concept that we have to overthrow. This is the concept whereby showing this vision of the unlimited open future, we the people in the space community can not only affect what happens in the world today, we're not about giving the world Teflon, we're about giving the world freedom. Thank you.